Spirit of Texas Bank, Nissan, Slovacek Sausage, and Germania Insurance bring you this clip of the Texas Bucket List. Well, it's time for the Burger of the Week, and this week we are in downtown Houston at a burger joint known for big old burgers. You might call them hubcaps, because we're at the Hubcap Grill. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite burgers in town. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. When somebody says something three times, you know they mean it. So we headed a hamburger's throw from the Harris County Courthouse and struck up a conversation with a cook as cool as Conway. Hello, darling. Yeah, you got there. There we go. <laughs> Ricky Craig may sound like a country superstar, but he's a self-made man who hatched up the idea of the Hubcap Grill. When I had like a concept, a vision, I had it down on paper and I thought this would could work in Houston. So Ricky did what any inspiring entrepreneur would do. He hit the gas, didn't touch the brakes, and had a specific destination in mind. Good burger, good fries, old fashioned glass bottle drink, sodas. No ice machines. Everybody's like, why don't you have an ice machine? Because it dilutes the drink. We want to give you an ice cold, old fashioned root beer, and that's what we do here at Hubcap Grill. And here at Hubcap, it's all about family. Hence the reason you'll find Ricky's mom behind the counter, father behind the scenes, and generations of family members on the walls of the restaurant. People say, do you have managers? No, I have family. You know, <laughs> blood's thicker in the water, and you know, you can always trust them. So we trusted in them to cook us one of the high-end hamburgers Hubcap is known for, the Philly Cheesesteak Burger. Meat on meat. It's a solid one-pound beef burger. So basically, it's just thinly sliced ribeye, grilled onions, bell pepper, and we put that on top of a Hubcap beef patty. On that note, let's get cooking. What do we get started with back here? Okay, first, before we put the meat on the grill, people use oil. Eh, not much flavor. We like to use a little butter. Okay. So this is the first time we see butter, and not the last. You know what? We'll keep count for you. Then comes a one-third pound patty that's topped with some Hubcap Hush Hush. So we use our own special blend of Hubcap seasoning. Very secret. It's a different uh, tone to it. It's a lot lighter than most. I'll call it Hubcap Dust. You know what's next. A little more butter. More butter. That's when peppers and onions are added to the grill, and you guessed it. More butter. More butter. Butter's good for you. <laughs> then comes two thirds of a pound of thinly sliced ribeye, some seasoning, and wait for it. Butter and butter. That's when the sweet smell of cheesesteak started taking over. I'm so confused. I don't know if we're about to eat cheesesteak or a burger. Getting the best of both worlds. That's right. <laughs> We're gonna flip the patty over. One more time. One more time. Oh no. A little butter. More butter. The mass of meat comes together, and just about when you think we're done, oh no. Now, I know what you're thinking. No way. But it works. No. Oh my god. A little more butter. butter. Oh. We want that. We want that to steam. Yeah. Some people use water to steam, but water has no flavor. It's gross. <laughs> so we're gonna put that on right there. Throw some more cheese on there. Make sure you don't want a nice shot of butter. There we go. There you go. After sitting on the stovetop sauna, the Philly cheesesteak burger is put on the showroom floor. It goes from grill to plate. And that is our signature Hubcap Grill Philly cheesesteak burger. Look at all that juice running. Time to take it for a spin. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Look at that. Philly cheesesteak, or is it a burger? It's hard to tell. One thing's for sure, you smell some butter. Let's go ahead and pick this sucker up and get a good look. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. It definitely weighs at least a pound. And just look at the cheese melting over the Philly cheesesteak on top of the burger with the onions and the green peppers. Just a little bit of grease on that, thanks to all that beautiful butter. So now the only question is, does it taste more like a Philly cheesesteak or does it taste more like a burger? There's only one way to find out. If I get a good grip on this thing. Here we go. <laughs> After a few bites of this burger, there was nothing but brotherly love. All it is, is freaking amazing. Wow. When we get the thumbs up, uh, you know you did something good. Finger licking good. <laughs> There's a seasoning. Wow. It was amazing. It's just a beefy flavor. You can taste the beef. It's like a Philly cheesesteak with that much more meat. 
I have no idea what they're doing, but whatever they're doing in that kitchen, they're doing it right. It really is better than any Philly cheesesteak I've ever had. And it's all one big burger here at the Hubcap Grill. Well worth the stop on the Texas bucket list. The Hubcap Grill is a staple of Houston, absolutely. It's one of those things where if you haven't had a burger here, you just haven't experienced Houston. That's what keeps me going when they smile and shake my hand and say, man, that was one of the best burgers I ever had. 